Hello guys, it's me Zane and I'm wearing the same thing because I'm just in a video recording frenzy. I will be going away and I'm pre-recording some videos and hopefully I can also edit them and upload them but I not promise anything. With that information let's get started with my Hoya. So I've already done some Hoya videos on my channel if you want to see them. There are plenty of them. Check them out. And if you want to see more of that, well, consider the option of subscribing to my channel and also consider the options, option of following me on Instagram. Now let's get started. Oh. This big, gorgeous, amazing, fabulous girl here with me is my Hoya Carnosa. There are a lot of Hoya Carnosa varieties. I basically don't know what variety exactly this one is. Maybe I could easily find it out if I run a quick search on Google, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm kind of in a hurry, so yeah. This variety is actually this variety which has these light speckles, light freckles on the leaves, which I really like because it might be kind of a variegation, but it's like the leaves are just dusty and there's something on them and yeah, I really like that it's, for me, it's special. So yeah, right now I'm making this video because I want to show you and tell you about some things. Today we're gonna work with this Hoya. Recently, not so recently, I did no, I repotted this Hoya into this bigger, you will see the pot, I repotted this Hoya into this bigger pot because you know it was really outgrowing the previous pot and also as you can see hiding in between all these leaves i have these bamboo stick thingies because i wanted to make a sort of a trellisy thingy so i basically stuck three bamboo sticks into the soil of this hoya and i tied them together at the upper point of them it was going really well this last summer this hoya just thought Holy shit, I have a lot of fresh soil, let me fucking grow. And she just did that. Right now, basically, this Hoya doubled in size in one year and I'm really happy for that. No flowers, maybe it needs even more light. I thought I was giving it more light than previously, but no. So maybe I will give it even more light than right now. But why I want to work with it? If you look at it from this side, it looks really perfect, but let me... Just turn this pot. Oh, you can actually not see that. Okay, let me show you a little bit better. The sunshine was hitting this plant from this side and this side got really heavy. Yeah, this is not good. The original state of this pot, of this Hoya plant on this trellis was like this and right now it's just leaning towards me and it's really not good because actually the how you do you call that in physics weight point in my language is it's called the weight point uh whatever this hoya is starting to lean over so much the whole hoya is now in danger of like falling over because all this weight is pulling this hoya towards me right now and i don't want it to like fall over and I don't want to wake up one day and I see this Hoya just being crashed on the floor to death. Today we're gonna prevent that and also we're gonna prevent the mini bug apocalypse on this plant because I don't know why but this plant never never ever got millibugs. Right now she does. So let me fix that also. So oh hey I'm here. Okay so today we're gonna fill up this pot we're gonna maybe change the soil a little bit, maybe just mix the soil with the new soil I'm just giving it. Also, we're gonna fix this leaning thingy and also we're gonna fix the mealy bugs. So there is quite the work ahead of us. Let me bring you outside and let me do that outside. Okay, you guys, so let me do a voiceover again since I was not really in the mood of talking in my garden because the street was really noisy because I don't know there was a football match thingy going on and there was a lot of cars a lot of people and occasionally loud music and loud cheering so that did not allow me to actually do 
really a talky thingy so yeah at first i was trying to get out all the dead dried leaves and well dead and dry stuff from the pot because there was some let's say residue of that because this hoya was outside and after that i just started to loosen up the soil because you know if i want to mix the new soil with the old one while well, loosening up is a little bit helpful i'm arranging some branches as i go because you know there are branches and these i don't know what everywhere at this point on this plant so it's a bunch of a messy situation going on and also i wanted to loosen up the soil because well that way if i put the new soil in as well i can more easily secure the bamboo sticks which are in the soil because i will compact the soil around them so here is my soil which i prepared and as in my previous succulent video it's mainly of cactus mix soil perlite sand coconut wiry thingy and basically that's all so right now i'm just filling up the pot because there was quite a big gap between the surface of the soil and the rim of the pots so i'm just making sure that the soil is actually everywhere okay right now you can basically see how much there is no soil on the top part making sure that the soil is going everywhere and also i was holding tightly these bamboo sticks and i was putting well quite a bit of uh, pressure around these bamboo sticks because i really wanted them to be really really secured there because i don't want to wake up one day and see that my hoya is like on the floor and i wanted to make sure that this soil is actually there from every side and every angle so i'm turning on the plant i want to maintain a fluffy soil a soil which is good for hoyas but at the same time i really wanted to secure these bamboo sticks also okay then i realized that the spot where i was keeping this spot was really not stable so right now the plant is really not in the frame which was a stupid idea for me but you know that's what I'm doing. So I was arranging... Wow. This is a nice shot, Zane. Oh my god. Okay, nice shot, Zane. Please don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you cannot see that basically, but I brought my hydrogen peroxide 3% and I started to like spray every part of the plant, every part of the leaves and the branches where I saw any mealybugs appearing because somehow mealybugs appeared on the plant. And after that, I wanted to water it because I really wanted this soil to like settle down or I don't know how to say it. And yeah, I just watered it and then waited until the water was actually drained out from it. But actually this pot has holes on the bottom but there is a cone so it's basically sort of a self-wateringy systemy thingy because the holes on the bottom of the pot are on top of these cones and well basically i'm happy for that because this is a huge plant and it drinks a lot of water and yeah i just watered it because i wanted the soil to be compacted down well you know watering helps that and right now i was scared of that bee so i was trying to water it <laughs> okay so these are the best parts where i'm not like advertising my underwear <laughs> I think we fixed the problems. Also, I wanted to address the situation for the method I was fixing my problems because there might be some other ideas on the internet, which is just perfectly fine. Now, I said that I was removing the mealybugs only with using hydrogen peroxide 3%. Well, the hyd hydrogen peroxide 3% actually kills the mealybugs, so that's good for removing them and also i did not want to hassle with that right now so i've seen the mealybugs only on the fresh new growths so i thought it's gonna be okay if i spray those only and just a few parts of the main plant so i was removing the mealybugs only by spraying it them and yes i know the mealybugs actually can hide inside the soil which is pretty bad but I didn't want to rip up the whole plant right now. And also, 
if I will see that the mini bugs are just coming back no matter what I do, then maybe I will consider repotting the whole plant, but I don't really want to do that because this is a happy plant now, I really don't want to shock it or anything. This was just my first attempt at removing the mini bugs, but if this won't work, I will definitely do something else. Also, there is one more thing behind this whole reasoning. Actually, this plant soon will go outside and in the outside world, you know, there are some predators that can actually eat my mealy bugs and also there is rain and stuff which can wash them off. I think this is my video for today and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, click on the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to check out my other channel. And yeah, see you next time. Bye guys.